Well, hi there, Bob Gower of BobCanHelp.com. In this series of videos, we've been talking about um, themes, epics, stories, and tasks, which is the, the actual semantic structure of information as it flows through um, your organization. Um, these are actually you know, captured either on 3x5 cards or in some kind of online database. But it's sort of the way we word things, the way we talk about things as we pass them through. Now, Agile, of course, um, you know, favors uh, you know, working software over comprehensive documentation. And so this is a way that we do need some kind of documentation, some way of communicating um, what needs to be built um, from one team to the next or from one aspect of the business to the next. Now, I just wanted to go over, give you a quick overview uh, of all of this. Now, you can see at the top we, we have the theme. The theme is the sort of overarching idea that we're working on. It could be just a single word like usability, scalability, um, user adoption rate, that kind of thing. An epic then is the, the is a collection of uh, functionality that can actually be sold. It's the so it's, it's and it's what we talk about when we're talking with the management team because the management team really care they don't care about so much about a specific feature so much as a collection of features that actually add up into something which is sellable. Um, we'll talk about what minimum sellable product is in some other videos, the MSP. Um, but really, they're talking about what adds up into something which is sellable. Now, the story is, again, a vertical slice through your application. It's a piece of functionality that the user would notice. Um, it's not something that's simply for a developer, but it's something that, ah, oh, the user notices something different. There's a new button on the page. There's a new field in the form. There's a new capability somewhere. Um, and it, we try to keep it as small as possible so it can be developed within one to two weeks, which is the usual sprint length that we have. So a story needs to be developed during a sprint. And finally, we have tasks. And tasks are all of the things that the development team needs to do in order to make that story happen, in order to fulfill that story and reach the done state that they can then deliver back to product. So um, if you want to get into these things in a little more detail, there are other videos that cover each of these things. Again, my name is Bob Gower of BobCanHelp.com. Please do leave a uh, comment for me on my blog at BobCanHelp.com or shoot me an email at Bob at BobCanHelp.com. I'd love to know what you're thinking and uh, maybe what kind of videos you'd like to see and also how I can help you. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks so much for tuning in.